Crouch on our stage is really amazing. Look at his hat, it gives so much charisma. Welcome! Fuck, that was amazing. Thank you so much. They are amazing, aren't they? Hello, everyone. Are you all having a really nice time? Yeah. Me too. Thanks for having me. Is anybody not having a nice time? Okay, just have to check the yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Someone pull that person out over there. No, I'm yeah, boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we're going to do a Q&A thing. That sounds really nice. Usually I ask one question and jump into the audience. Great. But I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm just going to jump into the audience. That sounds great. And then find my way here. And some of them have decent questions. Cool. And probably they will be able to ask them. And then you might reply with an answer. I might. You I might. might reply with an indecent answer. Cool. <laughs> Is that why you're wearing the sunglasses? I'm, I'm wearing the sunglasses because I landed at 8.30 this morning after being on set yesterday. Wow. But you look so. like you landed on 9.30. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. An hour later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna jump into the well if they let me. I'm gonna jump here into the. Oh my God! Is there room? Yes, there's room. Oh! Struggle down. Oh wow! Oh, there's many questions already. I'm not gonna be able to have you all ask questions, but I'll do my best. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hi, baby. Hello. Um, first of all, I have something for you. Thank Can you I so much. You? Thank you. Yes. If it's food, I will eat it. It is. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. That's very kind. What's your name? Francis. Francis. Yeah. I thought you said princess. Nice to meet you. Uh, Thank you. He's so devious. <laughs> so charming. And she has Is it cool. cheese? Um, no, it's like... Is it waffles? Yes. I love these fucking waffles. Thank you so much. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, well, my question is, well, to be short, I want to be an actress. And so my question is, how do you prepare your lines to... <laughs> religiously go over and over and over and over them again and again and again as much as I can in various different places in various different stages of my life I know I'm struggling with this hello how are you it's nice to see you it's torture isn't it yeah it's nice to see you again um, yeah just religiously go over and over them yeah 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 and then here oh, um, hello what's up here? I was expecting her to be this, but um, hi, um, my question is that if you could spoil something from your future uh, works, your... If something I could spoil you... something from my future work, I tell you what, I just, I've just made it, I'm going to make such a mess with these waffles. Um, I've just made a really cool video with my friend Matt, who uh, made something for a song I made called I Am. But this time we've made something that is uh, entirely, it's in its entirety, it's a whole sort of story song thing and it's really spooky and it gives me the fear to talk about it, but yeah, that'll be coming out really soon. There we go. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> good to hear. And you're your Scorpa, a Slovakian. I'm sorry? Enjoy your stroopwafel. Thank you so much. <laughs> I am. <laughs> good, good. Um, my question is, so there has been rumors online that you're gonna play uh, Voldemort in a new Harry Potter uh, movie or TV series, I'm not sure. And can you spill anything? I know nothing about anything. Oh, okay. Oh, no. That's easy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna try to... Okay, yeah. So my question is, if you were stuck in the Upside Down, what song would you use to get out of it? I said this before, it's, I think it's Party in the USA by Marley Cyrus. I, I was an idiot, I said that really early on and now I have to just keep saying it. No, well, if, you could, if you could change it, do you, would you like to change the song? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, where, where is she? Oh. Oh, you're up there. Okay, I was looking because you were tiny just now, but you're huge at this moment. What was your favorite scene to play in Stranger Things? My favorite scene to play in season four was... It was either the, the monologue 
with uh, Eleven in episode seven, or in, I think it's in nine, I think it's episode nine where Vecna has Eleven up against the door and then he like brings in Max and sort of dumps her body off. Those two were really fun. They were really, really fun to shoot. Dumping yeah. bodies off. <laughs> You're proposing them, you know, it's a good, it's a nice hobby to have. Yeah, it's a great hobby to have. <laughs> you look fantastic, by the way. I, your cosplay is beautiful. That's you. <laughs> um, hi, Jamie. Hi. I'm really nervous, so if my speaking is bad... That's okay, me too. I'm eating these to sort of hide it. Um, okay, so I really want to start by thanking you, because I went through some bad shit in your music, and, like, interviews with Joseph. Sadly enough, he's not here but they got me through that, so thank you. And I was wondering for those tough moments if you had like an inspirational, motivational quote or just something that you do that helps you through that. Pray. <laughs> also just Fucking pray. Just hold on and pray. Um, I mean, I, you know, uh, I, I... When... When my life gets too chaotic there are a few things that I do I try to live day to day and enjoy the small things gratitude is the attitude is a really important thing and I, I know it's really hard when it feels like everything's shit um, but just to sort of wake up and enjoy the small things the sun rising the birds singing it's easy to not trust me it's easy to not and then I've started uh, to sort of read and get into this um, Buddhist teacher called Pima Chodron and Pima talks about the idea of uh, being comfortable with the instability of life and that's been a really interesting journey to go through because the only real permanent is change and I was talking about change with someone the other day and I was like, when I affect the change, I'm so good with change. Like, the job that I do, I'm so fortunate. It's like, I get to go and like play a new character or go to a new city and do all of these amazing things. But that's my choice. When the change isn't my choice, I fucking hate change. <laughs> and but the only real permanent is change. So being uncomfortable when everything, being uncomfortable in, the instability and the ungroundedness of life, I find, helps. It's a mindfuck. Puzzles. Do lots of puzzles. There you go. Sudoku for mental health. Yes, absolutely. And that's a real thing. They've started to do this with Tetris. They've started to do this with Tetris and with people who have PTSD. You can bring up the bring up the memory that's causing you PTSD and play a game of Tetris specifically designed. And as you're playing the game of Tetris, if you bring to mind a, an experience that you keep having flashbacks to, you can use Tetris to reset it and to put it away. It's incredible. They've been doing it for like 20 years. I, I learned that on the radio the other day. Sorry. It must, must be true. Yeah, it must be true. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> um, it's. I just want to thank you for right now. You are a great actor, I just want to say that. And um, I'm going to ask you a very weird question. If you could kiss a character in Stranger Things, who would that be? I know what you want me to say. <laughs> I'm not going to say. I'm not, I am not going to say anything. It's your choice. Your I'd choice. kiss a Demogorgon. Why? Because they belong to me. <laughs> My wives. <laughs> or Eddie. <laughs> no, it's just for the gram. Uh, what are you most excited about for uh, Stranger Things Season 5? Oh, I don't know how much I can tell you. It's really cool. It's really cool. It's really big and expensive. Um, and. I, I'm just kind of excited to show you all. I'm terrified, I'll be honest with you, like, I'm really nervous. I keep going over things in my mind, being like, ah, God, is that right? But we're giving everything that we have 
to it, and I, I can't wait for you all to see it. I know you've all been so patient, and you're all dying to see it, and we're nearly there. We're nearly there, I promise you, I promise you. It'll be worth the wait. It will be worth the wait, it will be. Hi. Hello. Uh, I would like to go back in time to 2013. Okay. Did you know? Whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> Did you know on set or when you were shooting the Mortal Instruments that it was going to get cancelled? And, <laughs> and would you have liked to explore JC's journey further? Because boy, you went through a lot of stuff in the books. Yeah. Um... I, we, we didn't know at the time that we were shooting that we weren't going to continue the story in the capacity in which we were, you know, doing it. Um, and was I sad? I mean, yeah, I think so. But my, my life is... Being an actor, you know, you're, you're sort of constantly hit with disappointment, you know. So you just kind of roll with it. And would I have liked to have played Chase more? Yeah, I mean, I don't think Harold would mind, but he sent Harold Swart, the director, sent me an email yesterday saying how much he enjoyed the process. And I haven't spoken to Harold for years, so that was really sweet. And uh, yeah, I, I was really, really thankful for that. So yeah, of course, I mean, yeah, I'm still sarky and moody and I like to fight. <laughs> Thank you. I got you. Thank you. Hi, Jamie. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Well, I've been a fan since the city of uh, Shadows and Bones, since like the Mortal Instruments. And my question is, out of all the characters you've played, which one was your favorite? I know, my, it's a hard question. They're all my favorite? Does that, that's a shit answer, but it is the truth. I mean, I think they all, <laughs> I say this, often, but like they all pinpoint a particular moment in time, you know, and, and it's, it's like, it's like making a painting. It's like you paint something at the time when you're feeling the painting, and it's the same thing with acting. You're using the experience that you have in that moment to portray something, and then and, and so within that there's a great catharsis. Um, I loved playing Christopher Marlowe because I felt like Craig, Pierce, the writer, really like tailored the character to me as we were going along, which was beautiful. But I like playing Caius. I had great fun playing King Arthur. I had great fun playing Anthony. You know, I, I, all of them. All of them. They all hold a very special place in the depths of my mind and heart. Hi. 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 I'm sorry. You can see me. Hello. Hi. I was so young. I loved it. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I still don't. <laughs> um, did you enjoy being on set during Sweeney Todd? How was it filming that? I loved being on set during Sweeney Todd. I, I mean, Tim is obviously just the most incredible director and being around him and his energy, watching him do his thing, the sets were ginormous. Um, the cast were all so lovely. I got to work with some amazing people, some of whom are no longer with us, very sadly. Um, and I have very fond memories, particularly of Alan Rickman, um, just being one of the nicest, most humble, giving and genuine people I ever had the pleasure of, 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 of knowing. And he was so kind to my family and um, yeah. I loved it. I had, and I, it was the first time I also discovered this thing called craft catering. And craft catering, for those of you who don't know, normally you'll have your caterers who make you lunch and all of this beautiful thing, but craft is basically like your own free shop. And you can ask them to make you whatever you want. And so they would make me cheese sandwiches at 10.30 in the morning. I was 18, this was a delight for me, so yeah. I have lots of really good memories. Mmm, food. Mmm, food. Mmm, food. Hi, I'm Nervous Person here, sorry. Where are you? Hello. Um, I was wondering, um, since you're also a musician, what are the biggest challenges of combining your acting career and your music career? You know, it's funny. 
I've been fortunate that I haven't really faced the death that, or the, the curse that I think so many actors who play music face, which is actor does music, what a wank. Um, I think it's because I was playing music live with bands when I was 16, 17 in London doing the London gig circuit and you know I have I made and have a lot of friends in the British music scene and now the international music scene um, that they always knew that this was always just another part of me um, so I don't know if I've faced any challenges with that, really. The only challenges I face are really the same challenges that all artists face, which is when it dries up for a minute and you want to kill everyone around you and <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Jamie. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm a really big fan of your music, and I'm wondering if you have a desire to do a tour again. At some point, at some point for sure, um, I'm slowly edging towards that feeling. I just need to throw bigger balls and um, and force myself to go out there and do it. I think you know, um, yeah. Playing with Counterfeit was obviously an amazing experience, and and we all had so much fun. But it also was a very, very, very heavy wait to carry for all of us to go out there and perform at that level every night and um, you know I'm older now I'm not in my 20s anymore my back hurts so I'm just kind of going through that process and trying to figure out what it would be but yeah I, 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 I think so at some point at some point at some point I was gonna share too much but at some point yeah, yeah thank you I just want to say, um, my name is also Jamie, which I think is funny. Hi, also uh, Jamie. Hi. <laughs> uh, but if you had to pick between being an actor or a musician, which one would you pick? Choices. Choices. Death. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't choose. I don't think I could. I find, you know, the thing is with, with both of them, with acting, we, we do, we have long periods of time where we're not working and, and um, and I need music in that time to keep my creativity flowing, and vice versa. Um, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't pick, I couldn't pick, I couldn't. I don't have. Thank you. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, we've lost you on the microphone. Oh, there we go. I wanted to ask if you wanted to say something, and that was. Oh, darling, I don't do it in public. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I, I, I tell you what, I save it and I keep it secret just for the show. But this year there's some really cool stuff that you're going to hear from Beck, so, thank you. Hello. Um, I don't really have a question, but I wanted to say that uh, I really like your acting in Stranger Things and uh, I really love Vecna, so yeah. Vecna loves you. <laughs> Hi Jamie. Hi. What inspired you to become an actor? I have a burning desire to be seen and to be heard. I don't know. It was always something that I just wanted to do. I look at videos of myself when I'm like five years old. And actually there's a video of me. This is really embarrassing. There's a video of me at my brother's birthday. And it was a, it, he would have been like five or six. And I like lead all the kids around in a procession doing some dance. This is the kind of individual I am. So I just was fortunate that I have a career that fulfills that part of me. And now as I've grown older, as I've grown older, I, I, I take great pride in the fact I get to do what I do. And I also see it as a, um, as a study of what it means to be human, why people are the way they are, you know. When I was younger, I was like, hey, it's amazing, I'm on camera, blah, 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 it's fantastic. But as I've gotten older and wiser and more learned, I, I, I've Big really pleasure. taken great privilege in, 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 in the fact that I get to do, I get to study, I get to study. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Um, I wanted to ask you, 
somebody about this. Does Vecna have functional sex parts? Is there a Mrs. Vecna? Or a Mr. Yeah. Vecna? Or whatever. Um, I, um, I guess so. I guess so. Everyone seems to think he has this thing called a Vecna C. Too easy. I have one final question and then we'll have to stop with the questions. This is the final one, make it count! Hey, um, hi. Hi. I know you've been in Bandit Like Beckham. Is there any chance you would go back to the West End or Broadway or the musical again? I would love to. I would really, really love to. Um, I, I would love to do another play uh, on stage in London. Um, I'd like to do some Shakespeare. I would like to bring something of my own to life on the stage as well. Um, it's definitely something that I'm talking about. It's definitely something that is in my universe right now. And um, yeah, just sort of seeing if the right thing is there and if, if I can do it to, the, to, you know, to its credit, basically. Yeah, but thank you. Look at that, amazing. Ta-da! Well, how, how are the waffles, the strobe waffles? They're so good. They're good, they're, they're addictive, aren't they? Yeah, they're amazing. If you, if they have many more questions, as you saw all the hands going up, but you'll be here all day. I will be here all day, in fact, yeah, I'm gonna be at the table, um, we've got photos and stuff, but if you do come to the table, please feel free. I, I like people asking questions, I like to take time, I like to meet you all, I like to say hello, I like to say thank you. Um, I know how important these events are for all of you, I know how important it is to feel safe and to feel loved and to feel heard, and I feel exactly the same way, so please, if you do have anything to say, come and see me, ask me a question, I'd love to answer it, it'd be my pleasure. I like talking about myself, I'm an egomaniac. Thank you very much. Cheers.